Hey everyone, it's Deanne and welcome back to The Bookish Vineyard. As you can tell by the video title, I'm going to be going over my 2020 channel goals. I got the idea for this video from Noria over at Noria Reads. So I'm going to link her video below so you can go check it out. But I saw the video and watched it and realized that it totally makes sense to plan out what goals and what metrics I want to hit by December 31st. So I actually opened up a bottle of wine and had a glass as I was writing out my goals for the year. So I'm just going to show you what I'm drinking. So I'm actually drinking the High Pass Winery 2017 Huxle Rebe. The Huxle Rebe is actually a white wine, which I generally don't like to drink, but High Pass has some really good white wine. So when I'm doing these videos that are not tied to a specific setting, I will just be drinking my backlog. So sit back, relax, and grab your drink of choice alcoholic or non-alcoholic as I get into what are my six 2020 goals for this channel. My first goal is to have a set schedule of Wednesday and Friday uploads. Originally my idea when I first started was that I was going to have Wednesday and Saturday or Sunday. That second day wasn't quite fleshed out, but it's going to be one day on the weekend. My Wednesday schedule has pretty much been solid with Hump Day Reads. I figured out that that's what I want to do for Wednesdays. So Wednesdays are going to stay Hump Day Reads, which are romance reviews, specifically steamy romance reviews. I want to switch it to my second day of the week that I'm reviewing is Fridays because it's just easier for my schedule and I can have, have the weekends off or weekends to also shoot videos. But Fridays are going to be also a review day for... Any of the different genres I read in. I read young adult, adult mystery, adult fantasy. I read um, nonfiction sometimes. So I have a wide variety of things that I can choose for a Friday video. So Fridays will also be reviews, but it won't be as scheduled and it won't be as serious like the Wednesday Hump Day reads. Now, I am floating the idea of having a Monday schedule as well and that would be things like this so channel goals tbrs wrap-ups if i ever get into vlogs or readathons things like that that don't have a specific series that they're they're with would go on mondays but that's kind of still in the works i'm not fully fleshed that out but definitely wednesdays and friday schedules so two times a week wednesday friday my second goal is deal specifically with having more videos so I need a new computer and a new camera my camera works perfectly well for what I'm doing if I'm sitting in a one specific place I make sure that it's it's focused on me I actually have a nice extended thing um, a remote switch so I can I can um, have it focus on me while I'm sitting and then get up and turn the camera on but with that, my camera does not autofocus, so when I did my unboxing in December, in January, when I did my, my unboxing, um, I'll post a little card up here if you want to see it, I was showing different things that were in the box, and you couldn't see it because I would bring it up closer and it wouldn't focus. So a nice camera to do that, which would allow me to have better videos coming out for all of you, and the fact that for the computer... I have two computers that I use. I have a personal computer that I've had for about four years, four, five years, five years, and it is dying. It's gotten to gotten into a fight with the floor a couple of times. It just it can't do the editing at all. The my editing software has crashed multiple times. I open it and I try and do one thing with it that's not just like cutting out the different parts, and it dies. So I have a computer that my dad left when he was coming and visiting. Um, there are issues with that computer. It is also very old. It, the battery life sucks. Like it, it's basically a desktop, even though it's a laptop, because it has to stay plugged in. And the graphics card is better in that computer than my personal one. But even that, it cannot do the things that I need to to do editing and make this channel better and easier for you to watch. So a new computer and a new camera. That leads into the third goal. So with more videos and a new sexy camera and a new sexy computer, my goal for subscribers is that I would like to reach 1,000 subscribers by December 31st. It's definitely doable. 
I mean, I didn't upload anything, I think, in October, November, or December. Or I think there was something in October, but definitely November and December I didn't have anything. Oh, wait, no. I had the RWA thing in December, at the end of December. So I uploaded one thing in December. In between November and December, I uploaded one video. And seeing as how I started my channel in September and I'm almost at 100 subscribers, I definitely think getting 1,000 subscribers is doable. That leads to... My fourth goal, um, I would really like to do collaborations. So I follow a couple, I follow booktubers and I see the things that they do and I'm like, oh, that would be really cool to, to, to join in and collaborate with. Or just seeing, just seeing personalities and seeing like, oh, I, you're someone that I would like to get to know better. So being able to do collaborations with other booktubers. Now, I am a tiny itty bitty 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 fish in the pond that is booktube. I'm very small, I get it, and how my stats grow in the year, I don't know, but the ability to collaborate with other booktubers would be something that would be absolutely amazing to do, um, especially since like I really am shifting my focus. Yes, I'm reading books and doing reviews, but I really am in my real life, I focus a lot on um, anti-bias, anti-racism. So doing any type of collaborations about looking at the depictions of different communities, different characters, etc. in books or in genres would be lovely to do. And I know that that would be awesome to do with someone else or someone's else. Multiple people. So my goal for the collaborations is to have at least three this year. I would absolutely love if I could have four. So it would be one every quarter. But I'm going to do three because I, I definitely could get in a collaboration once every four months. I'm not limiting my collaborations. I just want to know, like, my bare minimum is to do three this year. So if there's anything that you're interested in as you find my channel and you think, hey, this would be awesome to collaborate with, hit me up. That'd be great. So on to my fifth goal. One of the type of videos that I want to create this year every single month is a wrap-up video. I read a lot of books in a variety of genres, whether it's for this channel, whether it's just in because I'm interested in reading the book, or it might be because I am a coordinator for a literacy program for elementary students. So because I read so many books, and I only have eight to 10 opportunities to review a book and post a video each month, my wrap-ups will be a way to say, hey, I read X amount of books this month. And in those wrap-up videos, I'm gonna be asking the question of which books would you like to see reviewed first? So in the little description box uh, under my wrap-ups, we'll say, here are the books that I read, here are the ones that I have already reviewed and if there's the link to them and then here are the ones that have been have been filmed and what date they're going to go up but there's always going to be some books that i read that month that have not that are not in my schedule yet i have not filmed them i have not recorded them i have not posted them so in my wrap-up videos it's going to be a way to engage to say hey so here's a list of books i read this this month which one do you want to see reviewed first and then i can shoot that video for the beginning of the next month. So my sixth goal is to read one nonfiction book a month. I read a lot of genres in a variety of age ranges and within nonfiction it is a variety. It'll be you know biographies and memoirs and self-help or there's a variety of genres within the nonfiction, adult nonfiction. And it is something that is important to me that I have some adult nonfiction in my life every single month. So my sixth goal is that every single month I will be doing a nonfiction, I will be reading at least one nonfiction adult book and one of my Friday videos is going to be on the nonfiction book period because as much as I love the fiction and the mysteries and the young adult and the fantasy and the romance and all this lovely stuff, those are all fiction, they're not real. And being grounded in nonfiction, in reality, in 
the current discourse within the different genres of nonfiction is important to me. So one of my videos will be nonfiction. But anyway, thank you for sticking around seeing my 2020 channel videos. If there's anything you think that I should think about or questions you have or anything like that, please just leave them in the comments below. And if you have a 2020 channel goal video, also leave that below. I'd like to check them out just to see where in booktube are we? What are our goals for this year? Because if you support me, I'd like to support you in whatever way that I can. Anyway, I will see you later. Have a lovely day.